Today we're going to talk about grinding drill bits. The first thing I want to discuss with drill bits is the two type of drill bits that you're going to find in the LCC machine shop. That's going to be a straight shank drill bit or a taper shank drill bit. Now the reason I'm starting with these two drill bits and the difference between them is because we have a lot of our tooling that gets damaged from students not knowing how to identify which type of holders they should be using for each type of drill bit. So just remember that if it's a straight shank drill bit that you're going to hold on to it in a drill chuck and if it's a taper shank meaning it goes from big to small and has our little drive flange here that it's going to be either held directly in the spindle of a machine or in a machine holder that is made to match the taper. Now moving on from that let's talk about the actual drill bit itself. So we have the tip of the drill bit and in the center there that's our chisel edge or the web. So the chisel edge is actually what is going to be doing the cutting and the web is just what we um, call the center section of the drill bit. Now on each side we have our cutting edges. On the outside of the diameter we have the margin of the drill or sometimes people will refer to these as the lands but that's more associated with end mills. And then we have our flutes that run down the length of the drill and that's where our chips go as the material is being removed during the cutting operations. So when we sharpen a drill bit what we have to be maintaining is the correct included angle that's from both of our cutting edges and then also the angle of our chisel edge in the center of our drill. Now we aren't going to be just grinding drill bits by eye we're going to be using a drill sharpening gauge and we're going to monitor our progress as we go. These drill sharpening gauges are the two styles that you're going to find in the LCC machine shop. They both work the same way only this one has two different included angle options. So I usually refer to students to use this style when we're first beginning. Now this one right here will grind a drill bit with a 118 degree included angle. That's going to be our general purpose drilling angle. For different materials we will sometimes make a, a pointier drill bit or a flatter face drill bit and we'll discuss that in greater detail later on. So when I look at this drill sharpening gauge I have the side of the gauge itself and that's where I'm going to be that's what I'll be resting against the side of the drill bit and then I have my angled surface right here that has a whole bunch of little markings on it. Now those markings are going to be what I'm going to reference while I'm looking at my drill up to the sharpening gauge and I'm seeing where the point of the, the chisel edge is mark, matching up to a line. So if I take a reading on one side of the drill and then I take a reading on the other side of the drill if the chisel edge is stopping at the same mark then I know I have centered my drill point in the drill body itself and also of course I'll be monitoring the angle. Now if I'm holding my drill bit gauge up against the drill bit like so and let's say I have a, a daylight gap on the outside diameter of the drill. So I'm going to draw a sketch of this. So this is a greatly exaggerated picture but if I see a light gap on the outside of the drill when I hold it up to my, my gauge like so then that tells me the next time I bring the drill bit up to the grinding wheel I'm going to make sure that the tip of my drill is making contact with the grinding wheel and I have a gap on this side that's about equal to the best of my ability of what we were seeing here and then if we do that we will end up with a corrected drill angle that is parallel to the gauge the next time we hold it up. Okay. Now if the drill bit point has wandered off location and it's favoring one side more than the other then what we're going to end up with is a situation where the drill bit is spinning and it is a round object but the tip is off center and then when that tip makes contact with the workpiece it's going to slightly deflect the drill and the drill will still be spinning but it's going to be pivoting off center causing one side of the drill's cutting edge to be sweeping a bigger arc diameter. 
So what you end up with is an oversized hole. And more likely than not, you'll also have a poor hole finish. So the ideal situation is to have identical angles and a perfectly centered drill chisel edge. If you have that, what you're going to get is two chips that will form up your flutes, a pretty accurate hole diameter, and a good hole finish. Now with my students, when we first grind drill bits, I like to keep a half inch drill bit, maybe 7 16 um, that diameter drill bit in their hands when they're first beginning. And the accuracy level that I like to see achieved with a sharpened drill bit of let's say half inch diameter is a plus 10 thousandths to as close as you can get to uh, your half inch hole. So if I had a, a half inch drill bit and my students drill a three eighths of an inch deep test hole, then when we check that really quick with calipers, I like to see a hole size that's no greater than 0 0.510. You can get better than that, but that's a good benchmark for a, a new um, a beginner at sharpening drill bits. It's very easy to have a diameter hole that goes beyond that and it becomes increasingly difficult to get it um, closer to the 0 0.500, the nominal size. Um, brand new drill bits, depending on the holer that they're being held in, you can get somewhere around a couple thousandths of oversized, um, you can get within a couple thousandths of the stated diameter, but you know, if we're really trying to get accurate hole sizes, then that's probably, probably when we're gonna switch to a secondary operation like uh, boring the hole or reaming. So let's just go out to the grinder and I'll go over the actual grinding of a drill bit after we cover some general safety topics when we're dealing with uh, pedestal grinders.